on everybody Trey back with G squared we're going to be reviewing the 10 millimeter M&P again today we've already done a review of the gun at the range we, we just wanted to kind of revisit it share our continued excitement with you guys just because I mean everybody had been waiting for quite some time I think for M&P to come out with something other than a 9 or a 45 they came out with the 10 we were able to pick one up and we're just still can we're still excited about it. It's very yeah, rare that we find a gun that we can be excited about throughout the course of taking it to the range, doing a tabletop. Well, the reason for the follow-up is because of how much bad press the thing had gotten. True, and that, how that many as well. People commented. Now, granted, you remember when I done the tabletop, I talked about that horrible trigger there, right? And how they could have done a lot better. But uh, everybody kept telling us, oh, look all over YouTube, there's problems everywhere. And again, just like with the Springfield Prodigy, we just haven't had any problems. Well, I, I feel like it, it, it's it's not necessarily a lemon law, I, don't, I wouldn't think, you know, or a lemon that you might get with the vehicle. But, like, maybe there's a lot of other factors with people that are having failures. But when we're out here shooting, as we've done with the Prodigy, we try to limp wrist it. We try to rapid fire it. We try different kinds of ammo. So today... We're going to be shooting some Sig Sauer, as well as some uh, Blazer Brass, um, both of which excellent brands of ammunition, but different, all in the same note. And I think we even have some defensive rounds. I don't know how those got mixed in, but we might as well shoot them. So let's start out. We're going to be shooting the Blazer Brass first. Uh, we'll put two mags through it, and then we'll switch over to that Sig Sauer 10 millimeter. Maybe we'll let Gene get behind it, but probably not, because I'm excited about this. So I'll let you shoot all my guns a day. We'll let him shoot it, just because of that comment. <laughs> all right, we're going to be going for the... <laughs> we're going to be going for the smaller target. And that's some stiff recoil right there. That is buddy. a lot different than a nine millimeter or a two two three. I'll tell you that right <laughs> now. But that'll put not, something on you right there. It did not. Uh, no, I shouldn't oh, do yeah, that. Don't do that. You'll get berated like by that. the by the troll. That's some dirty ammo too. It's still good. no failures. Still no failures. And you was you was uh, man. That thing was jumping back on you there. It sure was. Let's let's single hand it. What do you say? I don't know, man. Yeah, I probably wouldn't do that. Hey, this, I'm going to shoot better than that. About two more shots of that wood, we wouldn't have a target left. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now. Huh? I'm gonna tell you right now. That, that hurt. Uh, yeah. That'll that'll do something to your hands. Like grandma's always complaining about arthritis. And uh, I don't know. You if got you, shot. you got you got uh, you got sigitis. Or yeah, no, I'm I got, sorry, I got smith I got blazer. I got blazeritis. I got em em <laughs> I got it all. Um, so let's try some of this sig. Wow, that's a lot different than a nine millimeter. But no, I'm no, not no, complaining no. because I mean I don't I don't I don't I don't I don't uh you didn't shoot that way. What? <laughs> okay. He, see see this this right here, like every time I shoot better than him, I'm always like, Gene, you still did a good job. You did excellent. I, I'm proud of you. you do, you've done a good job, but you should see my face, dude. That that recoil. That is intense. Like you can you can see that on camera. That's but the, but that's the, almost like shooting that XD45. But again, again, oh oh, again. Let's just talk about the fact that the let's reason rotate. why we're doing this video. This is a follow up. Again, addressing all the naysayers. 
Yeah, Every one that said the so thing failed. this is failed. all flat nose ammo, both blazers. Just flat stick. nose, ain't nothing hanging up on feed ramps, ain't none of that kind of stuff going on here. And we're just trying to follow up, let everybody see that it absolutely has functioned and has not been any issue, not one single issue of any kind. It's been shooting um, great. After today, you'll probably have about close to four or five hundred rounds through this thing we lost count a little while ago but uh i think trey's I'll had let you enough get behind it because i know you're really wanting to well i know that i know that you're hurting i kind of am if i'm being honest with you i'm not complaining i ain't gonna I'm not hurt you pretty bad what are, what are you thinking about trading it back for something no i'm keeping it are you? i'm not letting go of that thing <clears throat> okay well <laughs> i like it it's not a bad gun you feel that? I thought you said you were going to shoot better than me. Well, it's hard to stay on target. That's with what I'm saying. Cannon, you know That's what I'm saying, saying man. <clears throat> That's what I'm saying. And look, man, you over there whining all the while like I got eggs. You did that before. Look, 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 look what it done did to my <laughs> hand. Huh? Still shot better than you. Oh, he's getting blood all over my face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to wash that with some, like, Neosporin. Now. Uh, do you miss it again well you know there's definitely 10 millimeter guns that don't hit that hole you know uh, but the reason that the the, the 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 draw to me on this was the fact that it already had the suppressor height sights uh, it came with a plethora of plates as you know you was with me when I bought it and I uh, don't like the grip you know the trigger is eh, uh, definitely better than the shield plus which we'll be addressing oh my soon. goodness and so but we followed up on this video not to talk anymore about the features of it or anything but more or less just uh, a lot of people have still been making comments about you know how that the tubers have had issues with it and so forth and you know basically almost as if suggesting that we're lying about it we just wanted to do a video today we put about another 50 rounds I think Trey might put another mag or two through there just wanted to you know show you that we're not lying when we say the thing has gave us zero problems and I feel like the same is going to be true about the Springfield Prodigy as uh, we'll be putting another video up about it so uh, we'll reload and let Trey run us out with a few more mag Got a little more accurate with it. Yeah, I think um, I think it's still snappy, right? When I was watching you shoot it, it was throwing casings in the next door neighbor's yard, so it's definitely <laughs> so. ejecting appropriately. Um, that was a lot of fun. Love shooting it. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did. Make sure you like, subscribe, uh, share with your friends, and thank you all for the support.